So let's talk about finding the magnitude of a force vector. So in this case, we're given net force components. We're given a horizontal component, and we're also given a vertical component. And what we're trying to do is calculate the net force. So let's go ahead and draw these vectors. So we have a 232.7 Newton force vector going horizontally. Now the vertical vector, rather than plotting it at the origin, I'm going to plot this vector using the tip to tail method, where I plot the tail of the vertical vector at the tip of the horizontal vector. And if you're wondering why I plotted this vector downward, it's because we have a negative sign. But now that I have these two vectors, I can actually draw a resultant vector. This is why I use the tip to tail method, because when I plot them tip to tail, I can then draw a resultant vector which connects the two like a right triangle. That means if I want to find the magnitude of this net force, it's use the Pythagorean theorem on this right triangle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now I can take 232.7 and plug it in for A. I can take negative 487.3 and plug it in for B. And then I can take my net force and plug it in for C. To solve for net force, I just need to square root both sides of this equation. And if I plug this entire quantity into a calculator, I should end up with approximately 540 newtons. And that is the resultant magnitude of the net force.